All right, I'm going to um, do a brief uh, video, hopefully it's brief, on a BlueDV software using a DV Mega stick on your computer. It's a, What it is is a USB stick, DV Mega DV stick. What it allows you to do is, using your computer's uh, sound uh, card and um, microphone, built-in microphone, say, say you have a laptop like I do, and you could uh, uh, access um, DMR, D-Star, that's what I had it for. I did not want to buy another, yet another radio for D-Star. I already had radios for everything else, including P25. Um, but um, and then also uh, YSF or Fusion all on one. So uh, this is where I bought it. I bought a gig of parts, $129. And uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, okay. First thing I had to do is get the Blue DV software. Uh, software is this, uh, this archive here software.pa7lim.nl slash uh, uppercase blue uppercase dv slash uppercase beta slash uh, uppercase windos slash archive and then it will get you here and you pick one of these I don't remember it's been a while I think I just picked one of these um, one of the latest and uh, from 2021, and uh, could have been this pre one. Um, and so you have the software. Then you're going to need a driver, and you need a FTI FTDI chip driver. And um, at least I'm going from Windows 10. That's what uh, most people seem to be using nowadays. That's what I use. So I picked uh, this uh, archive. Uh, I have a 64-bit um, Windows 10 laptop, and this is the one I downloaded. And once you got that downloaded, and the software downloaded, and you've already bought this, and it's come in the mail, just just plug it in to your USB. Uh, and you probably have to uh, install your drivers first and then uh, plug this in it yeah, I'm not sure but you, you know you have to do your own research I'm trying to make this short if I can uh, this is a, a PDF that I downloaded explaining uh, how to inst how to install the chip sorry about that it's my radio two meter uh, let's see uh, so um yeah, you um, you install your drivers, and hopefully you won't have any problems with the drivers. Sometimes people do, and uh, hopefully it, it you can figure it out. This uh, if you download this one from FDI FDI FTDI chip dot com, this uh, installation guide it will show you. So. Now, let me um, go to the actual program and show you what I've done. I've got the uh, USB stick plugged into a USB port on my computer. I am going to... this. It's, it's installed and it, the program is called BlueDV. So I'll double click on that to start the program. Okay. This is the program. Pretty simple. Now, first thing you're going to have to uh, do is go into menu, go into setup. All right, setup pops up. First thing you want to do is put your call sign in. In my case, it's K5APD. The serial port. If you have, if you installed your your Drivers right, the serial port will show up here, and you just select it. 
Uh, these other things it's optional. Hi, I've saved QS log. I like that. It works out good. Uh, receive tr uh, transmit colors. I like that. It shows me when I'm transmitting and, s and sort of it, it alerts me. Invert our uh, receive transmit uh, screen. I also check that. You don't have to. I just leave this default frequency. I think it's just 431. Uh, 025 I think is just comes with this this uh, program um, mode timer I did not touch a radio transmit power I just it's just left at max uh, latitude uh, and longitude that's up to you if you want to put that I put it and uh, now the D star part uh, that's what was important for me um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I, it's just left the way it is. Because I select it once. You see it once I select it. Uh, on the program itself. Your your uh, DMR hotspot. And DMR ID simple. Which is just your DMR ID. Use your ID. Do not use mine. Should be self-explanatory. This is just uh, QRG. I have no idea what QRG means. But it's zero. Left it the way it was. Enable at start. If you want a DMR enabled at start, you could do that. It's up to you. I don't use DM. I use DMR on my other hotspots. I don't use it on this one, but I can. And I've tested it. Um, D I use DMR plus. I usually use Brandmeister, but DM. Um, my theory is why it doesn't work on mine is because Brandmeister has a hotspot password, and these this uh, software does not have the hotspot. A place to put a hotspot pot, password. Now it does for the master password for DMR master, which I've selected down here. But that's just the standard. It, it your personal hotspot. Um, when you go to self care on a Brandmeister site, when you use uh, Brandmeister up here, um, that's in a regular hotspot. I don't think the software covers that. So, but I could still get everything I want by using DMR plus. Uh, DMR plus I just use Phoenix you could drop down and use whatever you want I, th I think so um, and then fusion uh, fusion uh, I don't usually use it but I, I have it set for my QTH location which uh, ham should have that uh, it's their um, uh, oh, Dang it, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, let me go back to my page and find out. It's uh, it's called a grid square, so that's what I got. So, let me get back to where I was. And um, So, uh, enable it start. If you want to enable this one, it started. I don't. Uh, let's see, default reflector, I, I use YSF. You can use FS, FCS. I just use wires. X, F. Leave it on American Link, uh, just whatever this is. It doesn't matter. You choose it when you start uh, your server. Now, this is very important. Okay, you use Thumb DV or Thumb DV Stick 3X. They got a 3, a th uh, see, a 30, which is what I got. And I think they got a 303. I may be wrong on that. It's another kind. It more up, uh, it's more fancy. I think it comes with an a Ambi server. Um... Now, uh, I th now th on here you check this. Uh, the Ambi model in this case is uh, yeah, it's three thousand three. This is a three thousand for mine. So uh, COM port again, you put that in the COM port that came up. Your DMR ID, not mine. Uh, baud rate. Uh, this is the one I ch checked. I don't remember how exactly I check. I got that information, but this is the one I do. Uh, four six zero eight hundred. And Ambi server. This is important. Do not check this. If you do, you, the, the firmware will not be detected. Uh, so, don't do not check this at all. Do not check it um, unless you have an Ambi server. And that I don't know. I haven't done it, so I'm not. You know, that's another story. That's somebody else covered that I'm sure it's covered all over there all over YouTube somewhere um, 
This is optional text. I just put Artesian New Mexico. I do not use PT uh, Kian, PTT Kian. Uh, so everything is what works for me on this. So you just do a save once you put all this information in. All right, now let me start up the program itself. Let me, and you press when it starts. You press serial. You bring this switch over. If you do not see Ambi 3000R right here after firmware, you did something wrong, or you or you checked that server over here where I told you not to, because uh, this will will not show up if you check that. Uh, so this comes up, and uh, so you know you're good to go. Nothing here is connected. DMR is not connected. D-Star is not connected. Fusion is not connected. So, I'm going to go D-Star. That's what I use it for. That's all I like to use it for. However, I'll show you the other two here before I quit this program. So, you just slide the D-Star away. Okay. You, could, you have all this stuff where you can drop down. Right now, I'm just using... Uh, it's not connected to anything. It's whatever last I used, 55 alpha. Most uh, common ones to use is uh, anybody that knows uh, D Star is ref uh, Reflector 30 Charity. But before I do that, I'm going to go to their Echo server, which is like a parrot, uh, to test my audio. I'm going to do that right now. I, uh, I've I've done reflector 30 Charlie, echo, which is E, so I can test my audio. So I'm linking right now. I press link. Link R E F zero three zero 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 zero. Okay, I don't know if you heard that. Hopefully you did. Whoops. Okay, it's hundred percent. Um. So let uh, me test my audio. You come over here. And this, uh, you can either hit the space button. I don't usually hit the space button. I usually hit this one. And um, if you lose the focus of the program, your space will do nothing. Um, so I use this one all the time. So I'm going to test. This is K5APD, Kilo 5 Alpha Papa Delta. Testing on the Echo server on, on Reflector 30. Test over. <coughs> This is K5APD, Kilo 5 Alpha Papa Delta, testing on the Echo server on, on Reflector 30. Test over. Okay, I don't know if you heard that. Hopefully it came through. Uh, that was uh, Parrot spitting back what I said. I tested and I always always do that. It's a good, good thing to do. Now let's go to uh, uh, the most popular D-Star Reflector. And, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to unlink from the last one. Hit unlink and it will tell you. Not linked. Okay, it's not linked anymore. So I'm going to go here to uh, Reflector 30 Charlie and press the link button. Of course, it's usually busy, so somebody's talking right now. And yeah, we are all internet dependent on these radios now, it seems like. So, um, as you can torn, hear, you know. K4ZXX. Sometimes I wish for an event that would knock out all the digital stuff and internet and so stuff like that. Let's see. You know, when what, you know, who he is? Uh, Jeffrey Stewart, and, uh, you know, out of North Carolina, is all, talking so. to uh, somebody I, else. I'm torn. <laughs> so <laughs> I am technology. Let me go torn. back to <laughs> our program. Uh, I just rolled up to the QTH and uh, find it. I, I heard you calling it. I didn't know yeah, why nobody was. Really on here, so right. anyway, K4Z. Some other notes I have I've returning to you and I, I, I got DV. Here. So, uh, Graham, port I settings. I guess that's where I got my port time. settings Did numbers from. Day. That's what I used. Good evening, and we will talk to you again sometime. And there's other stuff he said. Um, main thing is the port settings that I used. Um, GM for CUX, find a whole okay. Uh, I, uh, I think I'm very much like you so. with regard to the, the digital. Sometimes I have when things go up in front, I sometimes think I could take the video and see how far I could throw it. <laughs> but I've managed, to, I've managed to resist so. so far and 
Another popular one. It's uh, Reflector One. I, th I think it's Charlie Two, and I'll link that one. See if anybody's on. Not sure why that was. That that comes from uh, the hotspot. Well, not the hotspot. This little chip and the USB chip here. So uh, l let me throw out my call and see if there's anybody on. Well, somebody did click in. We try again where I'm not being uh, interrupted. Uh. Okay, that's probably why I'm having problems. G7 UFI. We see from England. So, um, let me go back. Let's throw out my call sign. Maybe not. This guy is tying the repeater up. Kilo 5 Alpha Papa Delta testing on uh, Reflector 1 Charlie. You can see where it's linked right here, Reflector 1 Charlie. Alright, I'm not sure what's going on. It showed my information that is something's not right. I'm uh, gonna get away from this guy. Kilo 9, Lima Foxtrot Delta, copy you loud and clear. Kilo 9, uh, Lima Foxtrot Delta, uh, Kilo 5 Alpha Pop Delta. Uh, thank you. I was just doing a demonstration. I think I'll put this on YouTube on uh, how to operate a Blue DD. Uh, go ahead there. They caught me loud and clear. I'm in uh, West Lafayette, Indiana, if that helps. Uh, just uh, kind of playing with this uh, D-Star radio, so I just connected to 001 just to see if there was any traffic out there today. Over. Yeah, Roger, I believe it's uh, Steve or Steven. This is Jim here in uh, southeast New Mexico. Yeah, I was just doing a brief demonstration, and I'll probably put this up on uh, on YouTube, and uh, just checking to see who was on. So you're coming in great here too. So Kilo Five uh, Alpha Papa Delta back with you, sir, Steve. Okay, Kilo Five Alpha Alpha Delta Papa. This is KMLD. Just uh, punched my ticket in June of this year. And I uh, had the opportunity to buy this uh, ID5100, put it in my car. Actually, I, I work for a local fire department, so this is actually in my city vehicle. And it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, we've, we've added this into the, to the, to the vehicle to kind of make it more of a complete communications vehicle for us. So K9 LFD, clear. K9 LFD, uh, this is K5 APD. Well, that's great. Um, when I was working uh, with the police department, I don't think they would ever let us do that sort of thing, but uh, I used to put a camera on the dash <laughs> and get video while I was working, but uh, uh, the radios, I don't think they would. So it's, it's good that you're, you're 
your fire department would do that so um, you have a great one there um, Steve and yeah this is Jim Southeast New Mexico so K9 LFD uh, K5 APD 73s Seventy threes. Uh, this would be K nine LFD. Be standing by. This is uh, Kilo Five Alpha Papa Delta. I'll be QSY. All right. Now we're going to go from there. We just did D Star demonstration. Um, let me go into Fusion. Fusion's really easy. Oops, I should have uh, disconnected first. I don't think it's really Not linked. Okay, they, they unlink you automatically. So I'll do a Fusion. Okay, Fusion also brings up uh, uh, another menu that shows Fusion. and Basically, that's all you got is Fusion. And then I'm on US uh, America Link, most common one. So I don't think I'm going to get involved with somebody in there. I think I already did this anyway, didn't I? But let me link it and show you. So. Uh, it's not going to be a short video after all. Okay, of course somebody's talking. This guy's really low on volume. North Carolina, Bruce. Alright, um, let me unlink. From He's talking to this gentleman. Where's he from? England. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unlink from him. Now this is all using your computer, and I have a a boom mic on my headset here. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take off Fusion, and I'm gonna sh uh, show DMR. DMR is a little bit more complex on it. Uh, DMR, it's uh, showing logging in. It hasn't been in yet. Let's see what's going on. I don't really use it. I got it radios for Brandmeister. Um, so, BM lookup. Let's see. Well, I'm sorry. You have to figure out the DMR. I don't really mess with it here. Worked the last time I, I used it for some reason. It's not working this time. So, it's basically D Star is what I use. If, if you look, yeah, great. All right. That, that's the end of that. Uh, that's how this program works, and hopefully, it helped you out. So, this is K5 APD um, going QRT 73s. And uh, let me stop this.